Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at this um, very on the nose label box. Uh, this is a magnetic stir. Um, basically what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to enter the plating game. Um, not in the sense of like, you know, we're going to make cheap things and then plate them with gold or anything. Um, what I'm more interested in is plating silver on top of silver, creating what's called a shop finish. Uh, basically what this does is it can hide um, fire scale. Uh, in, the, in my sense, what I'm most interested in as well with the 3D printing, with lots of detailed items. Uh, I just did a pair of snake earrings, for example, that are full of scales. Um, this is going to allow us to plate and effectively polish our pieces in a very non-destructive way. Let's get into this box. All right, so this is just one part of many that we're having to buy for plating. Um, plating is not something that I'm jumping into lightly. I'm not trying to just run like a nine volt battery through some vinegar and call it plated. It's I'm, I'm taking all the steps that I can. So in a previous video, I believe we looked into this. This is our, uh, I believe they call it a rectifier. It's basically a uh, variable DC power source. I've also got some beakers. We'll open this up in a bit and I'll show you how this works in conjunction with this tool. Uh, full disclosure, I've already been inside this box so things aren't really organized, um, but it's a nice little piece of kit. And I think it's definitely one of the more future-proofing things for me. Uh, plating solutions, specifically gold, requires that it be heated to a certain degree. And this little unit does that as well as magnetically stirring it. So this is the little unit and I am pretty impressed. It's kind of generic looking, like it's very lab grade. It doesn't have any fancy LEDs or RGB whatnot. It's just simple and it works. This is a temperature probe which goes onto this kind of tower thing, which gets screwed in here. And then there's a little adjustment thingamabob. And then this. And essentially what this does is it holds your temperature probe. So you can put your beaker on top of the plate. The plate is heated. It's not just like an on off. It does, it's, it's all calibrated here on this little thing. The temperature probe tells you what it is. This is the magnetic stirrer. So there's a little um, plastic pellet that kind of sits on top inside the beaker and it stirs what you're working on. And you know, it's just a really nice little unit. So it gives you agitation. It holds very easily a 1000 mil beaker. Let's just open that up and we can test this all up for scale. And it also has the little pill, which kind of sits there. You can see it kind of grabbed onto that right away. So there's a magnet inside that spins and that's variable. You can go pretty fast and make like a little whirlpool or just, just light agitation. The probe, it seems also has a, uh, another holder thing here. So that'll be really useful for us. We can hang our uh, pieces to be plated on the wire from this little tower into the piece and we'll make sure everything is functional, really. Um, we have some uh, anodes from Pepe Tools. They're the, the long T style. So what we'll do is we'll curl those into a, into a ring. The ring will sit probably near the bottom. They hang over the side and um, gets hooked up to the electricity. So bing bada boom, hopefully it's just that easy. We're going to be going with the Earth Gold series, which are cyanide free. Um, if you're at all familiar with plating, you're probably aware that cyanide is definitely the way it has been done and continues to be. Um, cyanide and gold just work well together. I'm not really sure the whole chemistry or physics or whatever is going on at a molecular level, um, but the stuff that we're getting is cyanide free, so it should be relatively safe. So we're gonna do everything properly and make sure everything's ventilated so that we're not gassing ourselves out of our studio effectively. Uh, these beakers, by the way, are borosilicate, which means that they are, uh, I believe that's like a harder type of glass, like Pyrex, basically. It means that I'm not going to be scared when I turn the heater on 
and it heats up the glass with the solution directly. Um, I had some other beakers that I got at like Michael's Craft or something on like Halloween sale for 10 bucks. And I thought, oh, that's a good deal. I had no intention of really using them for this. So those ones are probably just going to be my rinse, you know, just for water purposes. But anyway, I went and got the specific, you know, lab grade borosilicate ones because I wanted specifically for this to do everything correctly. So this is the start of our little plating experiment. I'm very much looking forward to this because, well, it's just something I've never really tried. I feel like it's going to add a lot of value to uh, not only on our work, but to the studio. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I offer bench rentals and you know people can come and work with me. So it's just nice to be able to add yet another thing to the repertoire. Um, I've had a few people ask me like, where do you get gold plating? Especially in Canada, by the way. Um, we just don't have a whole lot of that going around. So this being able to offer this would just be awesome for my local community, for myself, for those I work with. And um, besides this type of plating, we're also gonna be looking at pen plating. Uh, a little bit of a sneak peek, I made my own pen plater, uh, which the files of which I will be able to give to you guys for free uh, as an STL that you can print, make your own. Um, I'll talk about that later on when I get more of the solutions. At the moment, I've just been kind of focusing on hardware. We'll do yet another video after this, um, you know, not only talking about tools, but the solution. Solution is the stuff, you know, the, the fluid. At the moment, this is just water, but it is the all important thing that makes plating work. I mentioned cyanide before, we're going cyanide free, so it's using acids. Um, we're gonna have to talk about all of that separately because it is its own topic for sure. So that's all I have to say about this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.